This is the September 28, 2012 edition of Inside Rensselaer, about the people, programs, and events at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Harry Ruda, class of 69, a high-tech serial entrepreneur whose career spans more than 35 years in the information of information technology, software, and telecom, has been selected as the 2012 William F. Glazier 53 Rensselaer Entrepreneur of the Year. President Shirley Ann Jackson participated in the 2012 World Economic Forum's Summer Davos earlier this month in Tianjin, China. President Jackson was a panelist in two forums, the 7 Billion Challenge and the Future of Innovation. A recent study answers the question, where do Wall Street firms go to hire the top IT talent they need? The answer is Rensselaer. The institute was named by Wall Street and Technology Magazine as one of the top five schools where Wall Street firms recruit their computer programming and engineering employees. Rensselaer has been ranked 23rd on the 2012 list of best undergraduate engineering programs by U.S. News & World Report and named 47th on the list of best undergraduate business programs. These rankings were announced alongside the overall placement of Rensselaer as 41st on the list of the nation's top universities. Rensselaer's largest alumni tradition takes place October 5th through 7th as a crowd of more than 3,000 alumni and guests is expected to take part in reunion and homecoming festivities. Visit the site at alumni.rpi.edu for a complete schedule of events. The School of Humanities, Arts, and Social Sciences will celebrate the 40th anniversary of the Department of the Arts and the 30th anniversary of the Department of Science and Technology Studies with a series of events as part of Reunion and Homecoming. Educational outreach is a critical component of nearly every research grant, but not every grant recipient knows how or where to start these outreach activities. So Professor Patrick Underhill and senior Hannah Fix spent the summer developing four kits that contain everything needed for researchers to run a fun-filled, memorable workshop on the topic of fluid physics at their local high school. Professor of Practice Mohamed Farouk Masia has written a book, Contemporary Communication Systems, recently published by McGraw-Hill. The book provides a comprehensive introduction to modern analog and digital communication systems. On September 19th, the Foundry RPI launched as a fully supported program kicking off its fall 2012 sessions with an information event for interested student entrepreneurs. Professor John Bullo, senior research scientist at the Lighting Research Center, authored a newly published report written to assist airports as they decide if and when to install LED runway and taxiway lights. Two Rensselaer graduates, Jeffrey Banks 06 and Christopher Matson 03, have been honored as recipients of the National Presidential Early Career Award for Scientists and Engineers. Miriam Katz is one of six scientists nationwide to be named a 2012-2013 Ocean Leadership Distinguished Lecturer. The series brings the discoveries of the International Integrated Ocean Drilling Program to undergraduate and graduate students and to the geoscience community. Director of Athletics Jim Knowlton has announced the elevation of Chris Thompson to head athletic trainer. Thompson, in his 12th year at Rensselaer, replaces Anthony Ortolano, who retired in the spring. Following a national search, John Killings has been appointed to serve as Assistant Director of Student Activities and Multicultural Programs. And in May, T.J. Wojnard Jr., Class of 80, presented a matching gift check of over $201,000 to President Shirley Ann Jackson on behalf of ExxonMobil Foundation, the largest matching gift donation from the foundation since the program with Rensselaer began. That's it for this edition of Inside Rensselaer. For these stories and more, go to www.rpi.edu slash about slash inside.